Now we have three more angle pairs we're going to learn about. Alternate exterior, same side interior, and same side exterior. So these words are really important. Let me look at same side interior first. Well, those are angles that are on the same side of the transversal. So the think of that first word is which side of the transversal are we on? And in between the lines. So interior means right here. In between these two lines that the transversal is crossing. And there's my transversal. Same side, you can see angle 1 here and angle 2 are both in between the two lines and on the same side of the transversal. So that makes them same side interior angles. So in this example, I just want to name a pair of same side interior angles. First, there's my transversal, and I need to be on the inside. So I'm going to pick angle D here. What's the other angle? that's in between these two lines right here, this line here and that line there. And it's on the same side of the yellow line, the transversal. Well, that's angle E. So the answer is angle D and angle E. There is another pair of same side interior angles. See if you can figure it out. It's not that hard. Okay, now we've done interior, so now we're going to do exterior. So I still have my transversal, but now I'm looking at angles that are outside of the two lines. So here, this is angle 1 is outside, and it's on the bottom of the transversal. And angle 2 is also outside, and on the bottom of the transversal. So these are same side exterior angles. In this example, I'm going to name one pair of same side exterior angles, and I'll leave you to do the other one. So let me go ahead. Um, here's my transversal, right? I want to be on the outside, so I'm going to say either angle A or angle B we'll start with. I'll do angle B. So that's on the outside of the two lines and underneath the transversal. So I need to find another angle that's under this yellow line, this transversal, and outside of the two lines. Well, you can see it's angle G. So angle B and angle G are same side exterior angles. Then finally, we have alternate exterior angles. So we still have exterior, we're on the outside of the two lines. and But this time on the transversal, because it says alternate, one will be on top and one will be on bottom. So angle 1 is above the transversal and outside. Angle 2 is below the transversal and outside. So in this example, I need to name a pair of alternate exterior angles. So I want to go outside. I'm going to start on the left. So it's going to be either angle A or B. I'll just go with angle A above the transversal. Since it's alternate, I have to go under the transversal for my other angle. And it's exterior, so I cannot be between these two lines. It's not going to be B. I have to be all the way over here to G. So angle A and angle G are alternate exterior angles. So for further reflection, what does it mean when angles are same side? There are two different types of pairs that work with that. How about when angles are exterior? How do the words same side, alternate, interior, exterior, and corresponding determine which angle pairs we are discussing?